Moving in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was thinking about that. Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good afternoon. Sorry, I, I made a mistake. I was thinking about uh, you know, the evening, the evening. Sorry. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Perdón, estaba pensando ya en la, en la, en la tarde noche. <laughs> That's why I say good evening. Good afternoon. That is the way. Good afternoon. Sorry. How are you guys? Is that okay? Are okay. You fine? Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, let's start with the class. It's a pleasure to be with you again. Uh, this is the class number six. I will start passing the attendance, guys. Please help me out. Um, yeah, as soon as you listen to your names, uh, remember to say present. And remember to guys just access to or to enter to the class with your full name, if I please. No se nos olvide ingresar con nombre completo, please. Segundo ahí. Okay. Well, good afternoon one more time. It's a pleasure uh, to have you in the session in this class number six. I will start passing the attendance, right? Please, as soon as you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Amaya? Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Guardado? Daniel? Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniela? Present. Thank you. Deborah? Present, teacher. Thank you, Eva? Gabriela. Heidi. Jacqueline. Present. Thank you. Javier. Ah, ah, ah. Jennifer Mejiva. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Torres. Rosalie. Present. Thank you. Jonathan. Present. Jose. Are Present. Linda. Present, coach. Thank you. Lisa. Lisa? Present, teacher. Margarita? Present. Mariana? Present. Mayra? Mayra? Elisa? Present teacher. Roxana. Roxana. Jancy. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Arevalo. Present. Thank you. And Jeremy. Present teacher. Thank you. Well, I can see some of your classmates over here, right? Good afternoon uh, for the ones that already joined us, right? Uh, I already passed attendance. I will pass it again. Eva? Buenas tardes, Eva. Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you. ¿Qué más está por acá? Uh, Jennifer Torres. Hello. Hi, present. Thank you. Jose? Present. Thank you. Uh, 
I'm not sure what I got. Mida. Hello, Mida. You must have gone here. Oh, Jennifer, let's see. Vamos. Well, let's start. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you again. This is our class number six. Let's begin. Let me display the, the presentation. Bueno, eh, comentar un poquito de un par de cositas ahorita. Eh, thank you, Mayra. Thank you. Primero, ¿verdad? Comentar lo del comprobante, ¿verdad? Del manual. Que se les ha, pues, ahí hecho recordatorio que ese día es el último día, ¿verdad? A la ordenancia es el último día para enviar el comprobante de manual, si no lo han enviado, bueno, de hecho ahí ¿verdad? se les ha hecho mención a algunos participantes que no lo han enviado, o sea, es que por favor, eh, no lo hemos enviado, hagámoslo ese día que a veces tiene bueno, no tiene fecha, eh, hora específica, ¿verdad? pero les recomiendo que no lo envíen, ¿verdad? ya muy tarde, que no es posible recuerden que eh, deben de ese formato deben de ustedes eh, imprimirlo, llenarlo con sus datos ¿verdad? a mano, porque tienen que firmarlo también. Luego deben de ustedes escanearlo y enviarlo escaneado. Ayer hacían, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que la aclaración ahí en, eh, por el grupo. No debemos de enviar fotos, debemos enviarlo escaneado, please. Esa es la forma como lo piden. Y enviarlo, ¿verdad? A la persona encargada, la persona que se ha contactado con ustedes o al correo que les han pedido enviarlo, de ahí deben de, de ustedes reenviarlo. Eh, eso quería comentar, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Saben ese mensaje antes de entrar. Y no se olvide, ¿verdad? Firmarlo, firmarlo, llenarlo, firmarlo, escanearlo y luego reenviar el formato, ¿verdad? Que en todo caso va a ser PDF enviar los PDF eh, a la persona encargada, repito. Por si alguien, bueno, tengo, tengo un listado, son seis, seis es, eh, participantes que no han enviado el, el, el probante manual, ¿verdad? Así es que, por favor, tienen a, a hasta más tardar hoy, ¿verdad? Hacerlo. Más. Bueno, la plataforma, seguir, ¿verdad? Acá eh, haciendo el recordatorio. Eh, por favor, seguir avanzando con la sección 3 porque esa semana pues finalizamos con la sección 3, eh, ¿verdad? Y semana 2, semana 2. Mañana explicaré el midterm, porque el jueves lo vamos a hacer. Los que ya lo hicieron, pues excelente. Eh, los que no, ¿verdad? Y vamos al día, a la par. No se preocupe, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener mañana para, bueno, para explicar y el jueves lo vamos a hacer, el jueves. Repito, si usted desea avanzar, excelente, no hay ningún problema. Lo puede ser. Acá no tienen esa restricción, ¿verdad? Como lo he mencionado siempre, se puede seguir avanzando. Lo recomendable es que siga avanzando, ¿verdad? Siga avanzando para que no... Después, ¿verdad? Cuando se les pida es, eh, llegar hasta cierto, eh, a cierta parte, no tengan esa dificultad, ¿verdad? Que a última hora. Sino que lo pueden hacer ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, con tiempo. tiempo. ¿Ok? Um, bueno, no sé si hay alguna duda, consulta, algún ejercicio, no sé. Tengan. Sí, eh, ¿Cuándo vamos a hacer el examen? ¿El, el viernes o cuándo? El midterm lo vamos a hacer el jueves. Ah, ok. Sí, me, me da, lo voy a explicar yo, ¿verdad? lo que contiene, ¿verdad? las partes eh, que tiene. Eh, y el jueves ustedes ya lo pueden hacer. Si lo desean hacer antes, pero también no hay ningún problema. Pero el jueves vale. se va a hacer. Sí, el, hasta el jueves tiene que estar completo hasta la sección 3 y el meter. Hasta ahí tiene que estar completo. Bien. Ok, thank you. Igual, ¿Alguien más? ¿Dudas, eh, consultas? Dígame. 
eh, ahí es donde dice en, en lo que es mi plataforma, donde dice progreso, lo que es mi usuario dice que yo estoy inscrito como, como asistente en el curso y que este método no incluye lo que es la obtención de un certificado. O sea que en mi caso no voy a poder optar por un certificado, solamente por el, asistir al, muy, al curso. No, no. Eh, todos van a tener certificado. Eh, posiblemente todos les diga eso, ¿verdad? Ustedes son, ¿verdad? Asistentes eh, acá, ¿verdad? En la, en la plataforma, así es como se les llama, ¿verdad? Se les termina ah, de esa forma, pero no tiene nada que ver, ¿verdad? Si dice ese mensajito por ahí, haga caso mismo. Pues. Todos van okay. a recibir el certificado, sí. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más dudas en general? ¿Consultas? ¿Plataforma? ¿Módulo? Etcétera. Ah, este, mire, teacher, eh, si me aparece 25 por 25 en los ejercicios en la sección 1 y 2, eh, estoy bien, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, hace un momento, ¿verdad? Eh, tienen ese 25%, ¿verdad? Con las dos excepciones que han completado. Sí. Ok, sí. No se preocupe. Veo un mensaje por acá, permítanme mi chat. O oh, en el caso de Jan, si le sale también así. Imagino que en el caso de, en el caso de, de Daniel, ¿verdad? Pero no se preocupen, todos van a recibir el certificado. Ese mensaje, pues, sería de revisar, ¿verdad? Bueno, no se preocupen. Yo creo que más que todo hace referencia a que ese el certificado, ¿verdad? No lo van a tomar de ahí, ¿verdad? De la plataforma. Sino que el certificado lo van a enviar aparte. Creo que a eso es la referencia, ¿verdad? Cuando dice ahí que no va a ser certificado, pues eh, hace, ¿verdad? Mención a, a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que la plataforma le va a dar, no sé, algún resultado al final, ¿verdad? Cuando se ha terminado todas las secciones, a eso se refiere. Me imagino yo. Pero no, se lo van a recibir aparte. ¿Verdad? Este, las autoridades se los harán llegar. No se preocupen. ¿Alguien más? Antes de iniciar, vamos a ir iniciando. No. No. Ok. Well, let's start, guys, uh, with, a, with a class. Today is Tuesday, July 12, class number six. In this class, we're going to talk about yes, no, and where questions would be. You know, WS questions specifically. In the in the two classes, I guess, or three classes ago, right, we started with the verb be. And we saw, right, affirmative and negative sentences, right? Two or three classes ago, right? I remember that it was last week, right? Last week, last Thursday, uh, we saw a the verb be, affirmative, and negative sentences, right? Today, we're going to see uh, questions. Questions, right? Yes, no. Yes, no. And WH questions with verb be. With verb be. Right. Very nice. Let's start. Well, first, let me give you the just no questions, right? And I have a question for you. What is the verb be? Can you tell me the verb be? We have three forms, right? Three forms. Is, are, and am. Um. Exactly. This is the verb be, right? This is the verb be. We use the verb be in questions. Yes. What is the formula? Exactly, that is the verb be, right? Am or is, is or am, the same, right? That is a verb be. And then we have the formula if for just no questions. This is the way you construct a question if the verb be. First, we have that verb be. It can be am, or or is. It depends. It depends of the subject, right? Then we have, well, in this case, this and this. Remember, we saw this yesterday. Yes, and this, want to focus on that. Complement and the question mark, right? 
So let me give you some examples, right? For B plus this, B is in the complement. For example, X is a camera. So the possible answers are because we have just no, just no questions, right? And we have just no answers, right? We have some answers. We can say, yes, it is. We can say, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. All right, that is the way. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay. For B plus this and this, or this, sorry, compliment. Is this a camera? Look at the photo. Look at the photo, right? It, and it says, yes, it is. No, it's not. What about if I ask you? Is this a camera? Yes. It is a yes, camera. It is. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Right? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. right now you know we have short answers. Short answers, right? Short answers. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Right. Yes, it is. Is this a CD player? No. No, uh, it's not. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Very good. Okay. We can give uh, yeah short answers and long answers, right? Podemos expresar um, respuestas cortas y largas. Yeah. Camera. Uh, please, guys. By the way, because I can see the message in the chat. The chat. Don't forget to use your cameras, please. No olvidemos utilizar nuestra cámara. Please, please. Uh, hello, by the way, Carlos, Carlos Moran. Remember to use your full name, please. No se les olvide ingresar siempre con un nombre completo. Actualmente, Carlos se acaba de venir. Ok, más por acá. Mateo. Okay, continue. We're talking about just no and obvious questions, right? Right now, you know, we're talking about just no questions. This is the formula that we follow for B plus this, this plus complement. Is this a camera? Again, yes, it is. No, it's not. We can, you know, get long or short answers, right? Is this a camera? If you want to get short answers, Cortas, say right, yes, it is. No, it's not. Right? This is a way. Yes, it is. No, it's not. But you can get some long answers, right? You can get long answers. And you can say, right, it's just a camera. You can say, it's a camera. And you can say, right, um, you can get some long answers. Is this a camera? Long answers. You can say, yes, it is a, a professional camera, for example, right? That is a long answer. Yes, it is a professional camera. Or no, it is a CD player, for example, right? It depends. But you know, in general, these questions, right? With this kind of questions, sorry, we we tend to give right short answers. Short answer. No ese tipo de preguntas, verdad? Porque son yes, no, sí o no. Se responde de forma corta. Sin embargo, podemos hacer esa. Tenemos esta forma, verdad? Responder de una forma extensa. Ahí, teacher, en la, en la respuesta larga, ¿le hace falta el not? No, because I, I'm clarifying that uh, according to the photo, right? According to the photo. Mm -hmm. is the, the question says, right, is this a camera? 
And that is a camera, of course, right? But you say no. I mean, maybe ah, it, is okay, a CD, yeah, it, yeah. it is a CD player, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Maybe it's no, pero está afirmando que es una. Exactly. So imagine that we have a CD player right here. Imaginemos que tenemos ahora aquí la imagen de una de una CD player, ¿verdad? Entonces, diferente. No, it is a CD player. Estamos afirmando como se dice. Eso sería verdad como una respuesta, un ejemplo. Va a depender lo que tengamos. ¿verdad? Very good. And we have this other kind of question, right? Are these sunglasses? Are these sunglasses? Are these sunglasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Right? In this case, it's different because it's, again, plural, right? Plural. Are they sunglasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. And as you can see, we follow the structure, right? We follow the formula. Verb B, R. We use these, in this case, these. And the complement some glasses. And the answers again. Now we don't say, yes, it is. No, it's not. According to the question, right? Now we say, yes, they are. No, they're not. Because it's an answer. I mean, it is a, a, a question, right? In plural, sorry. In plural. Are these some glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Okay. What about if I ask you, guys, are these some glasses? Yes, they yes. are. Yes, they are, right? Yes, they, yes, they are. are. Okay. What about if I ask you another, you know, question? Are these shoes? No. No, they, no, they are not. They are not. No, they're not, right? No, they're not. Exactly. So it depends, right? It depends on the object that you have. That is the way you're going to respond, right? Sure. Yes. The pronunciation data. There. No data, data not. There. 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 No, they're not. There. No, they're, they're not. not. Yes. No, they're not. Exactly. No, they're not. There. Listen again. Are these some glasses? Yes, they are. Right. No, they're not. No, they're, no not. they're not. Yes. That is why. Any questions? Questions about it? No. 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 Okay. Uh, teacher. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Eh, eh, pues, eh, la respuesta es yes, they are. ¿verdad? Si fuera si fuera una cámara y si fuera esa pregunta sería no, it's not. Yeah, no, 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 it's not, no, it's not. But no, you know. Uh, no, no, perdón, perdón. Ajá. No, it's a a camera. You can say no, it's not. No, it's not. It's okay. No, it's not or you not. Know, no, it, it is not a camera, right? Okay. But with okay. the question, you have to be careful, right? Because if maybe you can see the object, right? You can see the object. Most, salvando el objeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah, another, another person, right, will ask you, is this a camera, right? So we can okay. see, right, this, you know, one object, just one object. Is this a camera? No, it's not, right? It is not common to, to see or to listen to someone that said, right? Uh, for example, are these some glasses, right? It can be possible, right? But it's not common. These some glasses? Then you no, say, no, it's not, right? No, it's not, okay. exactly. It can be possible, it can be possible, but, but it's not common. It is not common. Most okay. of the times, you know, people ask for singular things, right? Is this a camera, for example? Okay. Yes. Okay. Somebody else? Teacher, y vamos a hacer la conversación que está en la 8. ¿La podríamos um, desarrollar? Yes, let me see. I think I have a, well, I have another activity here. Hold on. Um, 
yeah, I have another activity. We will try to do the conversations, okay? We will try to do the conversations because I have another activity. Vamos a tratar la manera de hacer la verdad, las conversaciones. Tengo por acá otra actividad para ahora. Pero igual, si no la, si no la podemos ¿verdad? desarrollar acá en la clase, les, les queda a ustedes de tarea, ¿verdad? Practicarla. Ok. Let's go with the just not questions. Sorry, I, I thought it was uh, sharing my screen. Let's go now with WS questions, right? WS questions, we had the verb B, right? Again, I'm RS. And again, we had the verb B. But now if we use, as you can see, right? A WS word, a WS word, right? Plus verb B, plus this or these and the complement, right? Now, at the beginning, we have a dollar's word, a dollar's word, right? So this dollar's word, right? You know, do you know dollar's words? Do you know dollar's words? Palabra? Las conocemos, esas palabritas? Palabritas? Yes, but... What, where, who, where, who, where, who, 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 and then all things, or let's say activities, right? That is the purpose of what? Where, what is the purpose of where? Do you know the purpose of where? Donde? A place. Place. Exactly, place. a place. A place. Okay, okay. Who? Uh, person. Person. person, right? Or people in general, people. Yeah, person is singular, right? Person. Very good, very good. There are some people the same. A why? Uh, why? Porque. Porque. Uh, we say in English a reason, a reason, right? Or explanation. La razón o una explicación. Reason or explanation. Uh, when? Uh, quién? Uh, person. Cuando. Uh, Ah, uh, moments? Time. 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 Moments, yeah, moments, dates, very good. Specifically time, right? We said time. Um, okay. How? How is, is como? Yeah. Uh, como? In, 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 yeah, very good, very good. That is, that is the meaning. In English, in ideas? Como, how? No sería... You express, a, you know, ways to do something. Oh. Ways to do something or, you know, you, know, you express feelings at the same time, right? Feelings. How are you guys? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm sad, right? It depends. So we express feelings, you know, or ways to do something, but how? How, right? Very good. So these are WS words, and every WS word has a purpose. Right? But you know, today specifically, we're going to see what, right? What, and we're gonna use where at the same time. For example, what's this? What is this? What is this? Right, so we had the WS word, we had the verb B, which is is, this is a contraction, right? What's this? What is this? Esa sería la contracción, verdad? We know that is what is this? What is this? Yes, what is this? It's cell phone. Cell phone. It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. That's right. It's a cell phone. Amazing. It's a cell phone. That is the way we answer. What's this? It's a cell phone. It's a camera. It's a CD player. Right? What's this? It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone, right? 
question answer. Now, with this kind of questions, we get long answers. Con ese tipo de preguntas, obtenemos respuestas largas. But this, now we don't say yes or no, right? We say it's a cell phone, right? And again, right, what's this? What's this? It's a cell phone. It's, it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Amazing. What's this? It's a mouse. It's a mouse. It's a, it's a mouse. Exactly. It's a mouse. Another question. Listen. Listen to the question now. Well, let me let me try with another thing. Like, uh, something here. Oh, what is? What's this? What's this? It's a watch. 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 Right. Very good. It's a watch. Well, now we have another kind of question. Right on the next slide. Sorry, on the next part. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Listen, where are the keys? Listen to the question first and analyze it. Where From is the, the dollar? Yes. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Where is the dollar's word? R is the per B, right? Uh, and this is a compliment. Where are the keys? Right. And now we are asking, right, for what? We're asking for what? Estamos preguntando ahora. Uh, asking for... ¿Dónde están las llaves? ¿Dónde están las ¿Dónde están llaves? llaves? Exactly, exactly. But in English? Uh, yeah. uh, We're asking I don't know. for what? I don't know. Keys are on the table? No. Oh, okay, okay. The keys on the table? Okay, nice. So we're asking, right? When we say where are the keys, we're asking for a place, uh, right? Keys are in the desk. Okay, on the desk, on the desk. On the desk, okay. On the desk. Yes. It's okay, it's okay. For example, we can say, right, they're on the table, right? The keys are on the table. On the table, that is a place. That is a place, the table, right? Keys are on the table. On the table. They are on the table. Or they're on the table, right? This is a contraction. Now we have a place. What is a place? The table. The table, right? There's a place. Okay. Listen to the question. Where are the keys? We don't say what are the keys, right? We say where are the keys? Where are the keys? They're on the table, right? That is a, a, a position, right? That's a position. Very good. One more time. Guys, where are the keys? They're on the table. They're on the table, right? Nice. nice. Well, any questions? These are WH questions. Questions, questions. No. Preguntas, no? No. Not no. Okay. no, no question. Okay. All right, let's go with, you know, some practice, All right? Again, it's not in, in what questions would be, right? Is this a CD player? No, or it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not, right? No, it's not. No, it's not. Is this a CD player? One more time. No, it's not. No, it's not, right? Is this a wallet? Yes. Yes, it is, right? Yes, it is. Exactly. Are these keys? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? Yes, it is. Are these uh, some glasses? No. No, they're not. No, they're not, right? Amazing. You know, the yes, they are because they are keys. But when you say, when they, I ask you the question, sorry, 
are these uh, sunglasses? You say, no, they're not, right? No, they're not. Very good. Okay. Are these shoes? No, they're not. No, they're not, right? No, no they're not. Very good. Let's practice with uh, all questions. What's this? It's a CD player. It's a CD player. It's a CD player. Very good. What's this? Um, what's this, Deborah? Mm, is this, um, I don't remember um, name for, for this. Um, CD player. CD player, yeah. It's a CD player, nice. Exactly. Now, I need you to look at this object, right? Look at this object. Look at the object, this one, right? Look at the picture, the object, and the position, right? Position. Where are the glasses? Where are the glasses? They're on the table. They're on the table, okay? On the table. They're on the table, that's right, right? They're on the table. They're on the table. Nice. Remember, this, these are glasses, not some glasses. These are glasses, right? Glasses. And the other ones are some glasses. The ones that you use for protect your eyes, right, from the sun. These ones are glasses. Where are the glasses? They're on the table. They're nice. Okay, let me see. Let's continue. What are these? It is a penny. They are shoes. They are shoes, okay? Yeah, be careful in this case. Very, very nice. Be careful in this case because we don't say X. Listen to the question, right? What are these? It's in plural, right? It's in plural. What are these? These, yeah. well, they are, right? Shoes or sneakers, right? Sneakers. Or someone said tennis, right? Okay, you can say tennis, right? Tennis shoes. Um, but we don't say it, right? Because it's plural, not singular, right? What are these? There are shoes. What are these? Eva, what are these? There are shoes. Their shoes, exactly. Yeah. We'll see, what are these? There are shoes. Yes, very good. Okay. What about next? Now look at this. Look at the, the objects. We have some books and we have a backpack, right? Or a bag. Listen to the question. Where are the books? What are the books? What are the books? They're in the in the backpack. They are okay. in the back. All right. Exactly. They're they are they are in right in the backpack. In in. Now we say in. We don't say on right. In. They're in the backpack. That is the the position right. In in the backpack. Pretty good. What are the books? One more time. What, what are the books, uh, Daniel? They are in the backpack. In the backpack, yes. What are the books? Um, Karen, what are the books? They in the backpack. In the backpack, yes. All right. Well, any questions? This is the way we use, you know, just the questions and tell these questions. Uh, questions, questions. I, I question, teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I don't know, is backpack is mochila? Yes, that is a backpack, right? Backpack. 
you use okay. the right in your back, I mean, on your back. Okay, yes. thank you. You're welcome. Somebody else, questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Well, what I want to do, guys, is you're going to practice. You're going to practice uh, with the following activity. What I want to do, I need you to look at the ideas provided. You're going to take, you know, some objects, not just one. I, I would like you to take, you know, two, two or three objects, right, that you have around you, around you, right? Take three objects, three objects. Quiero que tomemos eh, tres objetos, ¿verdad? Que tenemos eh, cerca de nuestro, cerca de nuestro entorno. And we're going to practice, right? Uh, you're going to be working right. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this activity because, uh, well, some of you cannot use the cameras. Well, uh, remember to use the cameras, by the way, you know, the, the one, one authority or coordinator from Les Cooperativo was asking right for that in the chat. No se nos olvide utilizar la cámara, please. De hecho, se les estaba haciendo recordatorio, ¿verdad? chat de parte de una coordinadora de, de, de inglés cooperativo, ¿verdad? Please, no se nos olvide. Eh, y de hecho, ahorita quiero que le hagamos la actividad. Quiero crear breakout rooms y que ustedes practiquen con sus compañeros, hagan preguntas. Dos, bueno, quiero observar nuevamente. Utilizamos nuestra cámara, please, 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 please. Okay, 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 let's see. Um, Mayra, Daniela, Margarita, can you use the cameras? Tienen habilitada su cámara, Mayra, Daniela. Oh, okay, okay. Margarita. Caso de... Carlos, ahorita pues, él me notificaron que no puede utilizar su cámara en ese momento, ¿verdad? Así que está bien. Eso es una sí. Ok, bueno, todos la pueden utilizar. Vamos a hacer la actividad, ¿ok? Mantengámosla encendida. Vamos a crear, bueno, conocen Breaker Rooms, la función Breaker Rooms, todos. Breaker Rooms, ¿la conocen? No. No. Bueno, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Tenemos siempre. Eh, estos Breaker Rooms es una función que Zoom, ¿verdad? Y otras plataformas contienen, la cual nos permite crear salas privadas. Eh, trabajar o tener ese, ese trabajo en equipo. Entonces, quiero que trabajemos, ¿verdad? Veamos, creo que lo voy a asignar en, en tríos. O sea, es, en salud grupos, porque en el caso de Carlos, es lo mismo la cámara ahorita, pero vamos a tratar la manera de, de que él pueda participar, por tanto, sea solamente speaking, ¿verdad? Eh, pero de ahí la mayoría sí la, la, la tiene encendida, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Es que lo que quiero es que mantengamos la cámara encendida y hacemos una pregunta. Por ejemplo, como les decía, ¿verdad? You need to select three objects. Yeah, I said three objects, but you know, because, you know, I need to take some time, right, for this activity. Vamos a, a seleccionar dos o tres objetos ¿verdad? que tengamos ahí cerca, a la mano, y vamos a hacer la actividad. Vamos a ir intercambiando roles eh, en el equipo. One person is going to start, and then the other is going to, you know, talk with activity, right? One person is going to ask the questions. The other participant is going to answer, right? Well, you're going to be working in trios, right? So you have to take terms. One person is going to ask. The other people are going to answer, right? Then the, another person is going to ask the questions, and the other classmates are going to answer the questions, right? And vice versa. Vamos a trabajar de esa manera. Vamos a ir haciendo preguntas, vamos a ir intercambiando. Vamos a trabajar en tríos. Vamos a empezar haciendo preguntas, los otros van a contestar. Y así, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir intercambiando. Tenemos tiempo, así que les voy a dar suficiente tiempo para que ustedes ¿verdad? puedan ser selectos. Eh, solo que se con un poquito de duda, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, vamos a hacer igual. 
lo que la actividad cuando hacemos breaker rooms a veces tiende a como a contar minutos acá en Zoom, no sé por qué. Aunque la he utilizado antes y no me ha generado mayor problema. Este, bueno. It, well, let me give you the example, sorry. This is an example, right? Imagine that you have an object. Let me see, I don't have an object over here. Yes. Okay, you have an object, right? And you're gonna be working with your classmates, right? This is yeah, my object, sorry, my object. And I will imagine that I'm working with Jancy and Jeremy, right? We're working together, right? And I start asking them, right, for, for this object. Uh, guys, is this a pencil? Jancy or, or Jeremy? Or yes. Ula. Yes. Jancy is a pencil. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> is this a pencil? Yes, it is. It is a yes, pencil. Yes, it is. Okay. No, it's not. This is a pen. This is a pen. Yes, this is a pen. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. But you have to answer, right? Yes, it is. No, it's not, right? According to your classmate's question. You know, first, I would like you to practice with chestnut questions. And then you're going to ask a WH question, right? Or, you know, you can vary. It depends. Vamos a hacer una pregunta, ¿verdad? La que decíamos, una chestnut question o una WH question. Posiblemente yo quisiera preguntarles a ella, ¿verdad? Uh, guys, for Jancy and Jeremy, what's this? It's the same object, it's the same object, sorry. It's the same object. It's a pencil. It's a pencil, it's a pen, it's a pen, Jeremy, it's a pen. It's a pen, right? So it's you're a going pen. To, it's a pen, exactly. That is my first object, right? Then I can select my second object, right? And I can ask, what's this? What's this? It's a mouse. It's a mouse, right? Mouse. Exactly. It's a mouse. Well, I have another object over here. Let me see. Well, what's this? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I will use a question. Is this a mouse? No. It's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. What's this? It's a watch. It's a watch. Exactly. It's a watch. That's what you have to do, okay? In your teams. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? En, en los equipos, en, en, en tríos, ¿verdad? Voy a crear ahorita los grupos. And let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, you are 23. Um, I will have a pair. Voy a tener una pareja. Okay. We're going to be working on this way. Listen, vamos a trabajar de esa manera. Eh, le voy a, eh, a, a comentar con quién van a estar trabajando y le voy a dar tiempo también. Voy a dar tiempo. De igual forma, comentarles que eh, cuando yo le dé open rooms, yo abro las, las salas privadas. No estoy seguro si les, les, les tira como una llamada o de un solo los redirige. Creo que de un solo los redirige a la sala privada. Así que no tienen que presionar nada. O si les aparece ahí como una llamada, acéptenla, ¿verdad? Please. Esa es como la, la notificación. No sé si ha cambiado Zoom ahora. Pero yo creo que de un solo los redirige a la sala privada. O si no, si les cae una llamada, repito, la tipo de llamada, ¿verdad? deben aceptar. Ok, en el primer room la primera sala privada tengo a Jennifer Menjibar, Jonathan Salinas y Mariana. The three. Jennifer Menjibar, Jonathan y Mariana. Second room, I have Deborah, Jose Vázquez y Karen García. The three. I repeat. Deborah, Jose Vázquez y Karen, sorry, Karen García. Uh, room three, I have Daniel, Eva y Jennifer Torres. Daniel, Eva, and Jennifer Torres. Uh, in, the, in the fourth room, in the fourth room, I have Carlos Guardado, Jacqueline, and Roxana. You three. In the case of this group, por favor, Jacqueline and Roxana, but I see if we can start helping with Carlos. Let's see if he can speak in the camera. The microphone is not in the camera. Let's see the camera at the moment. Um, next, 
la siguiente, número 5, Carlos Amaya, Daniela en Linda. Carlos Amaya, Daniela en Linda. La sexta, sala privada, tengo a Margarita, Mayra y Melissa. Margarita, Mayra y Melissa. Seven, I have Jocelyn, Luisa y Jeremy. Jocelyn, Luisa y Jeremy. And the last one, I have Chancy in Jennifer Arevalo. Es la última sala privada. Chancy in Jennifer Arevalo. Ok. Any questions? No question, teacher. No. Ok. <clears throat> For this activity, listen, I will give you um, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Les voy a dar siete minutos. Así que aprovechamos el, el tiempo. Voy a estar ahí revisando, ¿verdad? monitoreando, por si alguien tiene problemas. Voy a abrir ahorita las salas privadas. Espero que, wow. Well, espero que hayan seleccionado los objetos para que empiecen a preguntar. Just no questions or doubtless questions, right? You need to ask and answer questions about the objects. Okay? Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. Let's Here we go. Let's go. Margarita, ¿se pudo, pudo ingresar? Escucha, Magneta. Hello. Tiene apagado el micrófono. Perdón, perdón. Me cayó un mensaje para unirme a la sala. Le di unirme, pero me sacó de la, oh, de la plataforma. Ahorita, ahorita lo voy a incluir otra vez. No se preocupe. Va, está bien. Gracias. Yes.
No, no. Uh, well, I can see Hedy. No, no. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Thank you. Well, how was it, David? Tell me, did you finish? Finish. Finish, no, okay. Teacher. No? No terminamos. No. Es que hay una pregunta. Me, me trabé en algo. Usted dio un ejemplo donde ponía where are the kids? Yeah. Y la respuesta era they are on the table. Entonces, nosotras queríamos poner eh, los audífonos. Oh, okay. Pero no, mi pregunta es, y es donde yo me he trabado, es que si al preguntar iba, iba a poner where are the headphones. Where are the headphones, yes. The Pero headphones? voy a poner where are the headphones. O sea, de un solo voy a tener que poner de un, eh, que son los auriculares. Yes. Where are the okay. headphones? Put the headphones and then you answer, they are right, they are on the table. What are the headphones? Exactly. And then you say, right, they are on the table, right? On the table or on the desk. Yes. Uh, Roxana, did you have a question? Si, sí, yo tenía una... Duda ahí, ¿cómo se dice calculadora? Calculator? Calculator. Calculator, yeah. Calculator. Okay. okay. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Okay. Yes, tell me. Um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia botella? ¿Y cómo, se, cómo se escribe? Bottle. B-O-T-T-L-E. Bottle. 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 Bottle, bottle. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, sorry. How se pronuncia tijeras? Scissors. Okay. Scissors. You're welcome. Eh, someone is asking. Yeah, tell me. Hello. Este, anona. <laughs> oh, anona is the same. Fruta. I mean, mm, lo mismo. I have forgotten the word exactly right now, but there is a fruit similar, you know, in, in other countries. There is another name. Let me look for it, but you know, you can say anona, anona, because that is a proper noun. It's a, it's a tipo de, de, bueno, de fruta, ¿verdad? Este, acá en nuestro país le llamamos así, ¿verdad? Como hay, hay diferentes lugares, eh, perdón, hay en diferentes lugares, les llaman de otra forma, ¿verdad? Entonces, es como un nombre propio, un nombre propio nuestro, ¿verdad? Un nombre propio uh -huh. que, hemos, que le hemos dado a la, a la fruta, ¿verdad? Entonces, voy a averiguar, voy a investigar bien el nombre, eh, cómo sería, ¿verdad? En, en inglés, porque para ser honesto, sí me... Eh, no sabría decirlo ahorita, ¿verdad? Eh, más o menos tengo una idea, ¿verdad? Tengo una idea, pero eh, en nuestro caso, la que le decimos a Nona, le podemos llamar eso también, a Nona, porque es un nombre propio. Nosotros nombre... fruta dijimos porque no hallamos cómo. <risa> Yeah. Eh, nosotros no, a los nombres propios, ¿verdad? Bueno, son en general, con todos los, eh, los idiomas, los nombres propios se dicen igual. Por ejemplo, uh, acá, ¿verdad? Nombres propios, eh, comida típica, por ejemplo, nuegados, eh, todo eso, ¿verdad? Se dice de la misma forma. No, no, hay, no hay ninguna equivalencia, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Porque son nombres propios. Thank yes. Thank you, Christian. Christian, 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 Okay. Pretty somebody else? Oh, somebody was asking in the chat, right? Headset. You can say headset or, or headphones. I mean, headset means uh, that is the whole thing, right? The whole thing. Uh, but yeah, you can say headset or headphones. It's the same. Headset. Eso se utiliza bastante. Headset. También es válido. Puede ser headset or puede ser headphones. Yes. Yes, Heidi. Yes, Heidi. Hay muchas palabras, ¿verdad? Que son este, propias del, del lugar, ¿verdad? Del país o la ciudad, etc. Entonces, esas palabritas, pues, solamente se han creado, ¿verdad? 
por parte de una comunidad o, o de un lugar. Entonces, son propias. No se pueden, ¿verdad?, se traducir, ¿verdad? por decirlo así. Entonces, en el caso nuestro, ¿verdad?, repito, las palabras que son pues, bastante conocidas acá, ¿verdad?, en el caso de comida típica, ¿verdad?, incluso con nuestro país, ¿verdad?, muchas, muchas personas dicen eh, en inglés, they say that del Salvador, right?, and that is possible. Del Salvador, you cannot say that. You say El Salvador. El Salvador, because it's a proper noun. Incluso, incluso con, con, con el país. Ah, socks. Socks. Gracias. You're welcome. Entonces, con ese tipo de palabritas, ¿verdad? Que son propias, no se, no se traducen. No se la traducción, ¿verdad? Lo decimos okay. de igual forma. Yes. ¿Somebody else questions? No. No. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, guys. Listen, uh, I hope you could finish with activity. If not, I will ask you to practice, please, on your own. Or you can contact your classmates right even um, via WhatsApp so you can work with them. Right. Eh, si, espero que hayan podido terminar la actividad. Si no lo terminamos, ¿verdad? Eh, por el tiempo, ¿verdad? vamos a quedar hasta acá. Pero me gustaría que si no ha terminado la actividad, pueden ustedes, ¿verdad? Contactar a sus compañeros. Pueden hacer por el WhatsApp eh, y estar practicando, ¿verdad? Con esas actividades, preguntas, etc. O lo podemos hacer con nuestra cuenta, ¿verdad? Claro. Eh, seleccionar varios objetos y empezar a preguntar. Eso sería una práctica. Para que sigamos, ¿verdad? Sigamos eh, acá en el proceso. No sé si alguien más tiene preguntas. No. No, no, no cuesta. Ok. No cuesta. Eh, Thank you. Tomorrow, I'm going to explain the, the midterm, right? As I said before, and we will do it on Thursday. Mañana lo voy a explicar el, el midterm y sería, lo, lo haríamos para el jueves. Quien ya lo hizo o probablemente lo va a hacer ahora. No sé cómo vayamos. Eh, sé que algunos van avanzado, ¿verdad? Eh, perfecto, no hay ningún problema. Solo puede ser ahora o mañana o el jueves. Vamos a hacer. Teacher, okay. eh, y eso está al final de la lección 3. Oh, sí, sí. Le uh -huh. ahorita. Son, son, son como eh, tareas así que están consecutivas. Sí, incluso después de que usted le da la sección 3, acá si, le, si lo ve acá, bueno, si, si, si entra uh -huh. acá, perdón, en sección ah, 3 está. es acá abajo. Uh -huh. O si digamos, sí, digamos que usted... Lo termine. Ok. O uh -huh. si digamos que usted va acá, bueno, lo menciono en general, eh, uh -huh. si usted, por ejemplo, se va acá con las... Mira, si usted va acá, ¿verdad? Con cada uno, con cada uno, con cada uno, y llega hasta acá, por ejemplo, termina los ejercicios y llega al siguiente, lo va a mandar al, al meter. Es lo siguiente. Sí, chero, una consulta. Ok. Yeah. Sí, ese es. Es que una tenía consulta. la duda porque ese ya lo realicé. Ah, ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Excelente, thank you. Eh, una ¿quién... consulta. Eh, dijeron algo así de un examen. Sí, es el midterm, ese, ese de acá, el midterm. Ese es el que voy a explicar mañana. Ese lo vamos a hacer no. el jueves, el jueves. Se aplica un día antes. Se aplica un día antes y se hace el, el, el jueves, ¿verdad? Sí. No, Eso hay es... Que ¿Perdón? Solo hay que hacerlo. Sí, sí. Este, este tiene, bueno, este examen contiene ocho partes. Y es con base en lo que se está viendo en la sección 1, 2 y 3. O sea, es una recopilación. Es un examen que se hace siempre a mitad de, de, de módulo. Para dos, ¿verdad? Prácticamente. ¿Tiene que ser hora clase? No. No, eso lo hace usted, ¿verdad? Más adelante. Después de clase, o antes de clase, etc. El jueves lo, lo tiene que hacer. Ah, ok. Gracias, Ticho. ¿Somebody else? ¿Somebody else? Sí. Okay. Para el día jueves ya tiene que estar terminada la sección 4 también. ¿Este jueves? ¿Sí? No, para ese jueves tiene que, tener, tiene que tener hasta la sección 3 y meter. La sección 4 la vamos a ver hasta la otra semana. ¿Qué? ¿Qué lo suda? Repito, sección 3 y meter es para esta semana, para ese jueves. Sección 4 es hasta la siguiente semana. Eh, Heidi, sí, esta misma plataforma. Después de la sección 3 está el meter. Acá mismo se hace el examen. Todo se hace acá, la plataforma, no se preocupe. 
Well, okay, guys, eh, we're going to start here because it's time. Thank you so much for being here. All right? I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Have a nice afternoon. Stay safe and blessed. Bye-bye. Right? Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. You too. You too. Thank you. Likewise. Goodbye.